Good afternoon. It is about 20 past six on a Wednesday evening. I'm already in my pajamas. I'm in for the day. I'm done. I'm not moving. And I'm slightly bored. And I thought, why not start another little crochet project and challenge myself a little bit? So the other day I made this really chunky, extra thick beanie, which is really cute. It's really cozy. It looks great. And I want to make some more. I think there'll be a great Christmas present, birthday present, winter present for your loved ones. So I want to make more. And I made this one the other day and I made it so quickly, like really, really quickly. I even had like breaks, like brew break, brew breaks. And, but I didn't, I've never like time myself knitting or crocheting. So I thought, let's see if I can make one of these in an hour. I might be really humbled and not even get close, <laughs> but I thought this could be like the, the perfect quick project, you know, and I want to see if I can do it in an hour. And I want to make a few of these, so I want to just keep going until I can create a beanie in an hour. That seems like a fun evening activity, doesn't it? This is what the beanie looks like on. I think it's so cute. It's just so thick and cosy. So let's get creative. Let's go get my big bag of yarn. So I'm using the Crazy Sexy Wool from Wool and the Gang, which is a really thick wool and it just makes any project go super fast because it's so big. You can't really see the colours that well in this slide probably, but this is just like a really cute little blue. This looks black, but it's green. It's forest green. Just a really deep green. It's black in the camera. And then this looks slightly the same light as the blue. It slightly looks the same, but this is like a green color. Well, this is like a blue. You can kind of see. I just think they're really nice, like earthy tones that I think people will love as like gifts and like people would actually wear them. I think they'll go with a lot of stuff. So yeah, this is what we're going to be making the hats out of. Excuse me while I tie my hair up. So for these beanies, we're going to be using a 12 millimeter crochet hook and we're going to need like quite a thick needle to sew in those ends and some scissors and that is all we need so we're kind of cheating with these beanies we're just going to do a really long rectangle and use the method where you can like sew the top through and pull it tight it's really easy and like a super quick way to make beanies and it turns out pretty good. Which colour first? Eeny meeny miny miny my. I don't want to do that one. We'll do the green. Um, when I originally was making this beanie I used my Carhartt beanie as like a gauge so I measured like the length of the beanie and then obviously because we're working in a rectangle that's going to count as the circumference that we then attach so I used a beanie that I liked the size of to kind of go off sizing so I'm going to see how much I can crochet in an hour I really want to be able to finish a hat in an hour because that would be such a flex just to be able to finish a beanie in an hour that would be so good but um I think I'm going to be humbled a lot, but I'm going to really try and get this beanie done in an hour, but 
We'll see how far I get in an hour. I feel like I need to prepare myself. Okay, it's currently 6.34. Okay, I'm gonna start now and I will stop and show you the clock at 7.35. to eventually make some um, matching like mittens with these. I think they'll be so cute. I don't know if this wool would be too chunky for mittens, but I reckon they could be pretty cute. have to um, remind myself to like relax my shoulders because I find like I'm sat there knitting or crocheting like this like constantly with my shoulders around my ears so I always have to remind myself to just like relax don't have to be tense <laughs> rectangle done I just don't think I can get like the sewing it together done within that hour but I can technically crochet it in the hour just not finish it <laughs>
just finished crocheting the the hat and I just need to sew it together now and I have 10 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Half past seven, I have five minutes to finish it. We're now just going around the top to create that kind of like drawstring to bring the beanie together. Literally, all I need to do is sew in these ends, but I have two minutes. So I'm going to count that as I did it. Wait. <laughs> I actually can't believe I did that in an hour. And all I've got left to do is sew in the ends. So I technically didn't finish, but I did crochet it and sew it together within an hour. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I'm just gonna take my time now and just sew in these ends and then I can try it on. God, I got so competitive with myself then. My heart was going, I was like, 15 minutes. <laughs> we like some friendly competition with ourselves, don't we? That should be an Olympic sport. Do you know what? That was such a good challenge. I have never timed myself before and I really doubted that I could do that in an hour. Like I really did. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And I actually finished it. I thought maybe I could get the crochet done, but definitely not the sewing together. Like the crochet was a push, but actually getting it done. Wow. Wow. An hour. An hour. And how cute little, like what a cute little gift. So what's really good about these beanies, not only that it takes like an hour to make them, but you only need one of these to make a beanie, which is great because you just know exactly how much you need. And one of these makes a really cute, thoughtful gift for someone or for yourself. You could have a whole collection of these beanies in all the colours. Amazing. I actually really need to pee now.